And welcome back, welcome back. We are moving into our third segment for the morning and uh, it's definitely something that hit home for a lot of folks. Mr. Belize 2017 is around the corner. Uh, representative of the Belize by the Building uh, and Fitness Federation. In with us is none other than uh, Clayton Greenwich, Mr. Actually 26, 2016 Middleweight and Master Bodybuilder. My goodness, that's a good one. And in a Apollonia, everybody know and in. 2016 Bikini Fitness. And uh, Rigo Veos, Mr. Belize 2016. Guys, good morning. It's so nice to have you in and yeah, welcome. Woohoo! All the defending champs. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, and uh, I have to say, um, I'm very sure this is a very critical time for, for all of you and the other competitors out there, and it's something that people look forward to. So let's get a bit of the details as to what's been happening individually with you to prepare for this year's competition. Clayton, let's start with you. <laughs> he looked Jumpy. at the side, yes, so yeah, that yeah. means he wants to go first. Yeah. Well, uh, not only it takes me like three months to uh, prepare for Mr. Belize. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't make uh, too much, uh, um, too many uh, changes. Mm -hmm. I sort of uh, uh, stick to the basic stuff. Yeah. You know, and um, work with that. Work with my body, listen to my body, look at my body, see how it looks in the mirror, and based on that, I can, you know, adjust or, you know. Um, so that's how I go about doing my thing. And uh, my diet is pretty basic also. I, I don't make, uh, I don't go on these fancy diets like people do. Uh, I, I stick to what works for me, you know. <laughs> so what is your diet? Tell us. My dad is basically, um, see, I, I love oats. Mm -hmm. okay. I love eggs. Mm -hmm. Oats, eggs, maybe fish, mm -hmm. chicken. Basically, I eat a lot of beans, nuts, and things like that. Okay. A lot of greens. Yeah, okay. that's basically it. All right. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. for you, Anlin? <laughs> To be completely honest, it has been quite the struggle for me. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> preparing for this competition comes on the brink of school reopening. Yeah. Yeah. And now I'm teaching at a new level, so I have to get acquainted with that syllabus. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I'm a teacher, so the job is very demanding. There is no telling how my day will play out mm -hmm. when I get there. And so to fit in gym into my schedule, that has been quite a challenge. But, yeah. you know, after a while, it becomes a lifestyle. So... It just falls into place. Um, in terms of preparation, I honestly didn't think that I would be able to compete this year. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But, um, you know, I ran into dad here. <laughs> <laughs> he, he shared with me some tips and some pointers, and I was able to pull it back on track and wow. get back on my diet. And, and so I have to thank him for that. Now, the expectation for bikini fitness is different from a bodybuilding competition. So thankfully. talk to us about the, the conditioning that you have to do for your own self. Yes, thankfully. Um, I have to do a lot of cardio. Yeah. which is my weakest point. I like to get in the gym and I like to lift heavy mm -hmm. and I, yeah. I can do that. But the cardio part, that is where I have to put in that extra effort. I yeah. have to coach myself into it. Like, Anlin, you can do this. Mm -hmm. Not only you can do this, you will do this because you have to do this if you want to look lean. Yeah. So um, <laughs> that, that, that has been a bit of a struggle too, but I'm getting it done. Um, right now, it's more of light weights and more reps. Okay. Yeah. So, and for you, Rigo? Mr. Belize? Well, actually, um, I've been training for Mr. Belize since I came up from the Arnold Classic yeah. oh. in March. Right? Yeah. I, um, every year, of course, something has to be different uh, if you want to improve. Yeah. Yeah. And as a Mr. Belize, everybody wants to beat you. So you got to make sure that at, you're at your best every year. Mm -hmm. And every year you'll get better and better. So it's, it's not something very easy. And of course, I, I also have my own personal things going on, you know, mm -hmm. in Corozal. So um, it kind of clashes with the time for training. But um, I mean, I am the Mr. Belize, so I, 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 and I need to defend my title. So I got to make that. sure <laughs> that I find time and make time to train. Yeah. Right. And when it comes to the dieting, um, as a bodybuilder, I could never get used to it. Mm -hmm. right? Because you always seem to just fall into the regular life after a competition. Yeah. Right? And when the time comes to compete, 
or prepare for a competition, then suddenly your mind clicks and then you gotta remind yourself, well, you know what? Uh, three months before a competition, you gotta watch what you eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then that's where the problem starts. Right? But, Reed, but let, let, let me ask you this because, okay, so you've been to the, the Arnold Classic, which was in the US? Was yes, it in, in the US? US. What does this do for you uh, participating in international competition and then bringing that back home? What does this do for you? Well, it, it does surely contribute a, a whole lot, you know. Um, apart that you get to meet uh, pro bodybuilders and other bodybuilders from the other world, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, from outside, uh, you tend to learn a lot of, a lot of stuff, a lot of tricks mm -hmm. into the game, how to prepare better, you know. Um, of course, you get a couple of connections with bodybuilders and, and you learn, you keep mm -hmm. learning. The main idea is that you learn, mm -hmm. right? You learn things that you wouldn't learn if you would sit down at home. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it does contribute positively towards your, your bodybuilding career. Okay. For bodybuilding, uh, because one of the things uh, Andon mentioned is the cardio. And that's the scary part for a lot of people. It's difficult to eventually want to get up and do some cardio. Mm -hmm. I don't mind going in the gym and lifting up, lifting up some weights, like she mentioned. But going out to do that cardio, how how uh, important it is for a bodybuilder? Well, cardio is important, but it all depends on your body fat level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I base it on um, my body fat. If I think my body fat is too high, then I'll introduce. I'll do more cardio. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I'll just pose. And posing to me is my cardio. Okay. Yeah. as a bodybuilder because oh, wow. I'm not a I'm not a, like a fitness athlete or I'm a bodybuilder yeah so yeah. I use posing as my cardio mm -hmm. you know to condition my body for the stage mm -hmm. you know yeah. to me I think more people focus too much on the actual workout in the gym rather than posing posing is a finished product and a lot of people when they go on stage and you see them you wonder what they've been doing yeah. they cannot present themselves you know, so I focus a lot on posing and yes. I love posing. You yeah. can see it in my posing. You know? you know, that is so true because from an outsider, everybody looks fit Just on stage. Related. You know, everybody, and they all are at different levels. Uh, some people are a little better off than the others. But it, there's a performance art to it. You know, you have to be able to pose in a way that people are in awe of the work that you've done to your body. And the three of you, obviously, as persons who have not only won once, but we're talking to you as, as the recent uh, champs, what do you think is, is the added touch that you bring to the stage that helps you to be successful? Well, for me, I, um, I personalize what I do. Mm -hmm. I, I put my all into it. I put love, a lot of love into it. So when I pose, you can feel it. I connect with the audience. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm actually talking to you in my posing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I don't really like to choreograph anything. I feel, I know exactly what I'm going to do. And then I just go and pose and just flow. Yeah. And that's how I connect with the audience. Okay. You know? Yeah. <laughs> And my song, the song actually, sorry. The, the song, song choice, the song, yeah. yeah. The song, yeah. I have to like the song and understand the song and then in that you see the posing according to what ah, the song is saying, okay. mm. you know? Yeah. Posing, posing is very important. Actually, uh, the way I go about choosing my, my song mm -hmm. is if I could listen to the song and I could imagine myself posing to it that's freely, yeah. then I know that's the song, you know? And song choice is very important because you've got to have that, that feeling to it. You've got to flow on the stage. Yeah. Right? It's so strange because there's such a diversity when it comes to song choice from like soca to some other kind of music. <laughs> and it's like, whoa, the motivations that you have are so different. But <laughs> Anlin, back to you. What's your, what's your flair on the stage? Well, we don't get to choose music like the guys yeah. do. We just have a standard song. But um, <laughs> yeah. I found that um, when I was Miss Belize, I love being on stage naturally. Okay. Um, I love being on a runway. Yeah. And so for me, venturing into bodybuilding, that was just yeah. the perfect combination of having a challenge there, but still being able to show my personality through my walk. And I'm completely comfortable when it comes to that part. Yeah. Okay. But I know that um, in terms of posing the way how the judges expect I can improve there. So that's what I've been working yeah. on for this year. I think one thing we see with you, Anlin, is that you always seem genuinely happy to be on stage. That smile comes out <laughs> and she, we can see it probably just in a few, but 
Um, it's it's one of the things I guess you you love what you do. I do. So, how about the newbies in the uh, competition? Yeah. I know <laughs> every year we talk about it. You want more women. You want to encourage more people to go up. Uh, starting off with uh, the fitness to the bodybuilding. Tell us about that. How has it been going? Hmm. Hmm. I I've seen a couple of people. Um, I can't really remember. Them. Yeah, but uh, a couple of people have uh, gotten into it. Um, they're fairly new. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how long they're going to stay because this is a very disciplined sport. Very. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, time will tell. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, one of the problems we're having here is uh, people lack discipline. Mm-hmm. And to do the sport of bodybuilding, you have to have discipline, a lot of discipline to keep doing the same over and over and over and over and not get tired of it. Mm-hmm. No, most people can't do that. Most mm-hmm. people tell you that's mundane, that's, that's boring, that's monotonous. Mm-hmm. You know? But if you want to be successful, mm-hmm. you have to have a lot of faith. Mm-hmm. And you have to do it over and over and perfect it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Perfecting. Well, you got to per- perfect your yeah, craft that, perfect that, that much because it is a craft. Uh, going out there and having to strut what you've got, that's a craft. Yeah, but you've got to put time. You've got to time, put time into dedicate it. Dedicate some time, at least half an hour a day or maybe an hour a day. Yeah. For the next five years or six years, you do half an hour a day yeah. and I guarantee you. See, and yeah. that's what I was getting get at. I think people make an assumption that if you are a bodybuilder, you must just spend all your day in the gym you know that's the only way you get your body (laughs) in that shape and there is a time commitment but it is not as much as people think right tell us about that Uh, before we continue just back to the point you had about the new business Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean where I come from in Corozal I I have my own gym Mm -hmm. and I can see many young people working out and training Mm-hmm. And a lot of times uh, they fail because they don't have the support. Mm-hmm. You know, they need that support. What kind of support are you talking about? I, I <clears throat> first, <clears throat> they need somebody to look up to. Mm-hmm. Right. Then, of course, but the building is a very expensive sport. Extremely. Right. So <laughs> you you gotta find some kind of sponsor. Just working from eight to five, uh, five six times a week won't pay for body building. It won't. Right. So you gotta find a sponsor, and basic, that's a basic. Uh, <clears throat> what I'm, that's a basic need a bodybuilder needs, mm-hmm. you know. And if you don't find that, and if you don't have that, eventually you will see your way out of the gym completely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. You'll be working out. You might have at the beginning. You might have a goal, seeing yourself on a stage, but because you didn't even reach to the stage a year after that, you might decide, you know what, might as well I just quit this. Yeah. Right. So. Young people need a support in all the sports, not mm-hmm. only in the village, yeah. in all the sports, right? But um, I've seen it in Corozal. We have a lot of talent there. We have a lot of young people who fall with the interest mm-hmm. with the, in, an, in the world of fitness. But because they don't have the support, it's very hard for them to go forward. Yeah. What's the most expensive part of uh, bodybuilding, though? Because, uh, you know, like you mentioned, a lot of people would want to get into it. But we have to watch the diet. You know, you have to watch what you eat supplements, protein, what's the most important part of this? Supplements and food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Supplements and food. That's the most expensive part of bodybuilding. Wow. All right. So let's venture off now to Saturday because I have been uh, over that side. The, the, the thing came out about tickets and everybody want tickets and, you know, raffling the workplace. Let's talk about Saturday. What should we expect on Saturday? And where is it going to be? At Bliss. Bliss. Okay, at the Bliss Center for the Performing Arts starting yes. at? Seven. Okay, and what should we what should we expect on Saturday? Well, of course, we know we're having a, a an international bodybuilder for that mm-hmm. night. You mm-hmm. know, competing or no, no, no he's no, guest posing. Ah, oh. guest posing. Okay, All right, guest posing. Mm-hmm. So that's a that's one of the the main highlights mm-hmm. for Saturday. You know, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. it's been quite a, a while. I don't know if we have ever had a a pro bodybuilder mm-hmm. in Belize uh, guest posing. In one of the one of mm-hmm. Mr. Billy's competition. Okay. So um, surely, surely people should look forward um, to seeing that. Yeah. You know, you're gonna you're gonna see a guy 
who you surely wouldn't see walking on the streets of Belize. <laughs> <laughs> so, or on, on a, a stage. Yeah. Or He's on quite a, a poser too. Yeah. He's quite a poser yeah. too. Yeah. He can pose. And where is guy. he from? Grenada. Have I'm you guys Grenada. competed against him or have been in any competition that he I was have there? Co I have competed against him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In 1996. Wow. Yeah. So before we get the, the, the ticket information, what are the categories that we're going to have this year? You have um, welterweight, middleweight, light heavy mm -hmm. for bodybuilding. For then body you building. have uh, bikini mm -hmm. for the female. For the That's basically it. Okay. And overall, of course. And oh, then Mr. overall, Mr. Belize. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. yes. Okay. And our judges, international judges. We have one international judge from Guatemala. Okay. Yeah, I think he's the chief judge of all the judges in the region. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about someone who knows his stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I am sure such that it will be a lot of fun, you know, full of excitement. Um, there is no way any Belizean or any, any person who is in fitness would want to miss this Mr. Belize. Well, we I know it's a big gym competition. <laughs> yeah. So let's yeah. not I always, forget I always that. look forward yeah. to competing against Regal. Yeah. I just love that. You know, I love competition. Well, see you can yeah, see I could see, I could see that. <laughs> I, I, I will say that. I, I love seeing the snippets of the uh, posing competition for the Mr. Belize category. Uh, yeah. it's, it's who can outshine who. Right, and, right. and there's a very interesting personality traits you see in there. But it, it, it is very uh, interesting to watch. Yeah. So so what all information do we have to let the public know at this point? Um, tomorrow, mm -hmm. okay. um, we're going to be having a meet and greet at Biltmore. Okay. Um, the athletes are expected to be there for 6 p.m. for Wayne. Mm -hmm. okay. And then following that... They're going to meet They're going to meet Vaughn Francis. Yes. Yeah, the guest poser. Going He's going to be there. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 At 7 p.m. Yeah, they're yeah. going to yeah. do one-on-one. One-on-one, okay. one -on -one, things like that yeah. on the, in the gym. <clears throat> so, and then happy hour commences at 7 p.m. You could come through and take pictures with your favorite bodybuilder with Mr. Happy Vaughn. Hour. But they can have happy hour. <laughs> Just about but it's not, it's not for oh, us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big no-no for us right now. Um, we just want to take this time to acknowledge our sponsors. Okay. Um, Rogue Group Company, RFNG Life, the love. RFNG Insurance, Best Western Plus, Belize Biltmore Plaza, Norman Sprinting, Benny's Enterprise, Body 2000 Health and Fitness, Mirage Group of Companies, Sagicor Inc., Hillview Train Station Gym, Door to Door Career Services, Neil and Gordon Gym, Kunal J and G Company, and the Greenwich Family. All right. Okay. <laughs> so all the sponsors are lined up. The event takes place on Saturday. Tickets. Where can people get them so they ensure themselves a seat at the Blitz? I have tickets. You can get tickets from Body Two Thousand. Uh, you can call um, the president. Uh, you can get it from. Um, we go. The yeah. different yes, gyms? I, yes, in Coral yeah. yeah. also, I have yeah. tickets. Guy Neal's okay. gym, yeah, okay. you can get tickets there. And of course, so. you could get tickets tonight at the, of the at show. The door. At, yeah. okay. the at the Bliss. And it starts at what time? 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Yes. All right. And, 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 and I must say that the doors are still open for any other sign up to compete Definitely. for such a Oh, event. really? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wow. So it is when you do your meet and greet, you'll do your weigh-ins and registration? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. So people can still take a chance? Yes. And uh, register tomorrow, and that's at the Biltmore. Yes, yes, at the okay. Biltmore. Right. Yes. Well, thank you for stopping in and telling us a bit about your own personal needs uh, in this competition and in bodybuilding itself. And best of luck on Saturday. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right, you. we're gonna go ahead and take our final break, and when we come back, we'll have our wrap up. So stay tuned.